What up, players? It's Wall Boss Tay up in this mud. Welcome to an unboxing of the Thousand Suns Upgrade Pack for the Thousand Suns Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Space Marine Army. So you see it comes in this giant clamshell, fine cast. You uh, cut open the clamshell and there you've got a wet palette. Beginnings of a wet palette. Just add some water and take a little sheet of parchment paper, spread it across the bottom, and you've got yourself a wet palette. So you get four sprues and one slotted base, round slotted base. And we'll go through that in a second. So let's look at what you get. You get these two torsos broke off, but we will examine each one. Here's the first one. Remember, Thousand Suns are a Chaos Space Marine Legion dedicated to Zinch, the god of change. They had, they used to have a very uh, Egyptian-esque feel, pre-heresy, which kind of carried over to uh, some of the design aesthetics. <clears throat> Here you can see the eye, or the symbol of Zinch, the kind of fish serpent with the eyeball. You've also got the, this eye with a little bit of a pointed star and yeah so you've got six torsos looks like yeah two four six you also get one two three four five six seven eight heads looks like we've got yeah two identical blisters so we'll just take a look at one of them you also get these shoulder pads, one with the symbol of Zinch, one that's just looks like segmented stripes down the side, and one with the all-seeing eye. You get one set of arms that looks like they should be holding a weapon, which you get to choose and put. You only get two bolters, and these bolters have these kind of like hawk, or like eagle, I think it's a hawk with the Egyptian and a really cool looking bolters. It's too bad you only get two of them. You get this tabard here. And yeah, like I said, you get two of those. And for the ninth model, you get a sorcerer. And the sorcerer is really, the sorcerer looks so good compared to the stupid fine cast sorcerer, chaos space marine sorcerer that came out with the, the chaos space marines release. I mean, it looks so, good comparatively and that's because the sword is not bent in this one it looks like he's actually striding forward purposefully instead of just kind of posing strangely he's got a bolter here or a bolt pistol rather very interesting little horns on it it's pretty cool in the back he's got all sorts of little doodads and charms and pouches and stuff hanging off of him and very awesome looking sculpted shoulder pads really cool looks like down the front these are scroll cases for his magic spells and whatnot and they all have these like i said these kind of egyptian-esque head crests reminiscent of egyptian kind of stuff tomb kings looking thing and here we've got is this a, I believe it's a Mark IV backpack? No, Mark II? Maybe Mark II, I, I can't get all my Mark's backpacks wrong and mixed up, but look at these awesome looking serpent's heads. Lots of flash, but you know, that's I guess to be expected with fine cast. What's good is I don't see any real defects with the sculpt or the mold, looks pretty good. So all together, you should be able to build up nine space marines of 9,000 sun space marines. And that is because nine is the sacred symbol of Zinch. So uh, if you saw my Death Guard squad of Nurgle, seven is the sacred number of Nurgle. So just like that squad comes with seven guys, this squad comes with nine. Where the options to build nine, you're gonna have eight chaos space marines with the Thousand Suns heads and you're gonna be able to split up like the this bolt gun here, the arms, you're gonna get a tabard to put on 
one of the guys, different um, arm shoulder pads. So you mix and match and you're gonna be able to come up with something cool. So we'll do that right now. And let's, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all these pieces out and I'm gonna wash them with soap and water, warm water and dishwasher soap. And then I'm gonna let them dry and then I will glue them together and we'll see what we come up with. All right, players, we are back, and here is my completed Thousand Suns squad. I already put up pictures on Facebook and Google+, Plus, so if you haven't seen those, you can check those out for close-ups and, uh, and all that. But let me describe to you what I am going for, fluff-wise. I'm really, really excited about Graham McNeil's novel, Thousand Suns. It tells about the pre-heresy Thousand Suns and, um, and this, how, they're, how they feel like they were really trying to do the good work of the... Uh, uh, to bring humanity together and to to progress them forward into enlightenment and knowledge by diving into the warp and studying all of that stuff and uh, in in that hubris and that vanity they kind of plant the seeds for their their eventual downfall so what I wanted to do was show off a squad of thousand suns in 40k that are is a little bit different and almost kind of progresses the storyline of the Thousand Suns if, if, if that were to be possible. So in, in the universe, Araman, the main chief librarian sorcerer, uh, he creates this spell, this massive spell to keep the mutations from spreading throughout his legion. But what it does, instead of curing the mutations, it or, or it does cure the mutations, but instead of doing it like he planned, what it does is it reduces everybody, all the normal marines who do not have psychic powers, it reduces them, their bodies to dust. It seals their armor and it makes them like lifeless husks where they strip their soul and their personality and everything away. And pretty much they become like automatons and robots. They don't have any personality, they're not able to communicate, they just listen, or. Uh, or take orders from these sorcerers, aspiring sorcerers now, in these sealed suits of armor. And as soon as the armor is broken or breached, then their spirit, the dust flies away, the spirit flies away. And that's why their their model now, or their battle cry is, all is dust. And I, I don't even know who says that since they don't have voices, but they're pretty much like ghost armor. So, each squad has one of these guys, a aspiring sorcerer. And it looks like the Force Sword is the way to go now. Force Axe, uh, not so much, and they have a Force Stave that they could use, but the po uh, Power Sword seems to be the the best uh, choice, looking at the tactics and stuff. So here's my guy, I built him up as normal, and what I did for his little demon, tutelary assistant, is I took a very thin brass rod that you get from uh, P3, creates this, they have this pack of brass rods with the appropriate sized drill bit. And what I did was I took some green stuff, I wrapped it around the end, and I made a body. I shaped like a little torso, I carved in little pecs and some abs, and then from there what I did was I snipped it down to like maybe about this much. So it had the torso on the end with a long bit of wire at the bottom. And then I drilled the hole into the backpack. I shoved the rod inside so that he was sitting. And then I snipped off to make it as flush as possible against the backpack. And then I added the legs. I actually had on the torso the upper legs, the upper thighs. And I kind of tried to angle them as best as I could. And then I shoved it in and, and then I added the lower legs. Uh, I had the head and the wings on, if you've seen the photos in the last video, and then I added the upper arms, and this book taken from the, what was it, the flagellant kit. So fantastic bits, like I said, to put in your bit box and use later in other characters. Love it! So the, the fluff is that this sorcerer has been looking around for, uh, for, yeah, you know, pieces of esoteric knowledge, forbidden tombs of sorcery and spells and stuff. And his little warp, little lesser demon assistant guy is leading him to these specific pieces of knowledge and literature and so spells. And so he's weaving, he's making these enchantments and he's, he's casting these spells that no one has seen for hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of years. And then his bodyguard, the squad of, of 
pretty much animated armor that come with them, they start to uh, they start to change and regain a, a little bit of individualism. Not so much as a personality; they don't gain personalities, but they go from being what he knows and has been working with for hundreds and hundreds of years as just these really stoic and quiet, menacing pieces of armor in battle to when, he, when he, they go into battle, they start getting some, some personality. So here's one of my more favorite ones. It's a, it's a marine that is uh, retrieving one of the sorcerer's spell books. And instead of just doing his job, he kind of stops and he's looking at it and he's contemplating it as if he's contemplating it. And I think that's a cool narrative thing that the sorcerer says, orders this rubric marine. They're all called rubric marines, like rubric. Well, not like rubric cubes, but, <laughs> but rubric marines. And I was trying to think of what, what to compare them to, but it, it, it left my mind. And he says, go fetch me my book. And he goes and gets it. And as he's bringing it back, he slows down and he kind of looks at it like, hmm. So he's noticing that these these uh, marines are changing. They become a little bit more animated, more um, just lively, for lack of a better word. Here's a guy that's reloading a bolter clip. I had to convert his, uh, snip off his hand at the wrist and snip off all the fingers and then shove in the bolter um, clip from another bolt gun and green stuff some fingers. Not really good, but I'm, again, I'm not, I'm not a very good converter with the green stuff yet. Most of these shoulder pads are from the resin ones that came in the kit. If they are not the resin ones, then they are either this Zinch one from the Chaos Space Marines kit or one of these with the eight-pointed star on it. I tried to keep all the left ones blank so that we can use the transfer, the Ouroboros, that's the snake in a circle that's eating its own tail. Here's oh, another cool one that's reloading his bolter clip. For this one, you just I just took the hand that comes with the clip from the Space Marines sprue and I snipped off the little hanging bullet belt so it looks like he's in mid-reload and he's standing, bracing his feet over here like that. Here's one. And uh, these were pretty easy to build up. These ones with the torso tabard cloths, uh, you can't really tell from most modelers who build their Thousand Sun squads because they have mostly all of them like standing like this with their bolters slung across their chest. So you can't really see that on their chest for the resin pieces, they have this great detail, either the eye, all seeing eye or some symbols of zinch and stuff onto the actual breastplate itself uh, instead of this, the plastic Chaos Space Marines one. I love the bolters too with the kind of hawk motif. Somebody on my Facebook mentioned the Cyborg, no, Cromlech conversion kits and man I took a look at those, they look so good, the Stygian heads and shoulder pads and uh, I might want to pick those up for some pre-heresy or maybe Chosen would also be a good a good kit to use these on. Here's, I like this guy because he's bracing as if he's firing. Pa, 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 actually firing instead of just holding his bolter slung across his chest. Here's another one that seems to look like he's just finished firing and he's scanning, scanning the immediate area, ready to fire again. They also have, we use these resin fine cast arms, which, I mean, you don't need. It, they don't add anything. If you don't use those and you use the plastic ones, it's fine. They do have some gemstones on the gauntlets though, so that's pretty cool. And here's my favorite one, this last guy who uh, I imagine is like in mid-battle and he just killed somebody and he just throws his arms to his side and uh, throws his head back and like he's howling or like he's reveling in the, the battle. And I, I figure this is almost something like a corn berserker or, or a uh, space wolf would do, but it shows that he's got some personality. To do this, I just clipped the arm at the shoulder. I glued it with plastic glue in the back to the plastic part of the back torso because you get the front torso so you glue the space marine back torso with super glue and since the back torso is plastic I used plastic glue to hold the arm and then I took a little ball of green stuff and I shoved it in there and I took my the sharp end of my exacto knife and I made the little indentations to make it look like uh, these you know back parts of the the joint armor underneath 
He's actually supposed to be holding a bolt pistol, I just clipped it away and uh, put on a bolt gun instead. This hand is supposed to be holding, I believe, a chain sword. So I did kind of the same thing where I snipped it at an angle to kind of look like he's holding a fist. First I was thinking maybe he could hold a, like a head or a helmet or something, but nothing really looked like it fit. And I don't think that Thousand Suns have close combat weapons in their inventory. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know, but it, I think they just have bolt guns. I don't even know if they have grenades or not. I don't have my Chaos Space Marine Codex here at this place. It's, you know, a bunch of miles away. So let me know if I'm wrong, if these Thousand Suns have actual weapons other than their bolt guns, because then I can model some in the future if I decide to build these guys out. The uh, head crests I always thought looked kind of silly, but they're so iconic of the Thousand Suns, this Egyptian looking head crest. So looking forward to painting it and uh, let me know what you think about my concept and fluff for this unit as well as uh, these models. <clears throat> I enjoy the fact that this sorcerer is kind of seeing these signs of life in his, in his uh, squad and is now starting to look for more ever more pieces of hidden knowledge to try and um, bring them back even more and cast more spells and enchantments on them. And I love that this little demon dude is either kind of looking like he's just chilling. He's got his book and he's hanging out. He's got his other hand on his knee and he's just kind of chilling like, hey, 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 just as planned. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next video.